Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cecilia from Scientist Plant. And as you can see here, I'm gonna be showing my pocket ring setup for 2024. Yes, already 2024. Uh, I'll be actually showing how I've been using 2023. I already changed a couple of things. If you watch my previous video where I was sharing uh, the planners that I use in 2023, I actually added a couple more things in the pocket rings so that moving into 2024 next week um this little guy will be ready i just want to show the covers that i've been using uh, i think mostly since 2022 which is when i got this one which is from plotter i've been using the plotter they call it mini six but it's essentially kind of the same as a pocket so you have six rings and is in pocket size there are slight difference in terms of the size of the cover and the size of the inserts that I'm going to show that. Um, it makes a tiny difference when you're using it. Um, the major difference, and I think it's one of the like huge advantages of the um, plotter, is that the ring is really tiny and this is an 11 millimeters ring. And because of that, it's just like this tiny little thing that occupies basically no space in your bag. But obviously, because the rings are so tiny, it doesn't fit as much. And what Plotter did is that instead of having the thick paper that we used to see in the past, um, their paper, I always forget the name, is very thin. It's very similar to Tomoe River paper, actually. So you could have like monthlies weeklies notes pages and it will fit a lot because the paper is thin this paper is fountain pen friendly so if you guys like to use fountain pens it's not an issue even if you are using uh, inserts from filofax the new inserts are actually kind of fountain pen friendly as well but i don't use a lot of fountain pens in my pocket i use a gel pen you can use fountain pens with either Filofax or Plotter. So yeah, so I was using the Plotter, but then I ordered this uh, new cover. So I put the Plotter aside, but I just wanted to show that uh, sometimes I swap between um, Plotter and this planner from, cover planner from Shiliu, depending actually on how much I wanna carry. So this one is 11 millimeters, and this one is a 16. So, so yes it is very comfortable to write well this one will be the best like if you get covers from plotter i would say you don't even feel the rings and i think together we have a slim profile nice paper like having a small rings you can write on it and you're not gonna feel it you don't have to take out the pages and put it back which is something that i don't like uh, when using rings and 16 to me it's the limit if i go a bit above that it will start to bother me and i'll have to remove the page to write but i can see that some people might not like 16 already i feel like 16 is fine and with that it could fit a lot more God, is how i am using it uh, differently from others i'm actually using it as my errands it's like when i have to go out shopping when i have to do groceries or when I have an appointment but it's not like my everyday carry in a sense that I don't use this at work every day it's more like a family home organizer so this is where I have stuff so then if I have to go to the mall supermarket pharmacy things like that the notes will be here so just to show a bit of the um, setup what I have in here might hurt some <laughs> TN's hearts so all there this is actually a pencil board from Traveler's Company. If you guys use stuff from Traveler's Company, you recognize this. I just punched it. And this uh, then became like a little cover dashboard, but also a uh, built-in uh, pencil board. Because then sometimes when you're writing on it, you see because of your cover, I ask in this one to have this ring protector. Like this, you won't get indentations on your cover, but you have it in here. Um, this could annoy you to write on the first pages and my first inserts are actually my monthlies. So I decided to punch the pencil board and put it here. And like this, I will have a pencil board when I'll be writing on my monthlies. I just place here now 
this little sticker this is a kind of a joke if you live in montreal you would understand uh, montreal there's always constructions everywhere so that's why that is this written forever which is cute um but you i can swap it and put different things but i like to keep the pencil bar in the front because then again it will be comfortable uh, now going to the inserts i got a question about my favorite inserts and i feel like everything that i'm using here are my favorites so i have my favorite monthly my favorite weekly and my favorite type of note-taking pages this is the things that i have but i, I will in on each of them um really like say what they're from and i will write in the description as well but if i forget uh, just remind me ask me a question in the comments i'll be happy to share so when you get the inserts from plotter so this is the monthly from plotter and i think it's the best monthly that i've seen out there so this is the one from 2024 i just received it from my friend nora so nora thank you so much for to um for shipping this to me See, this is the entire year i have the entire year in here because they are very thin because of the paper so first page here is like a it, it's called like annual mission so i just put like things that i have to do for the year uh in here um so i just have like whatever i want to do it's mainly related to family and things like that and then you can put like a bucket list or whatever you want to do um but this is already like attached to december so it starts on december so that's why i wanted it to be something that would tie in well with the things that i put on this uh inserts on the inserts so then in each month i would have a washi tape to decorate because i like using washi tapes and then i just have like appointments birthdays and things here so all that to say that in the monthlies, although I have some of work stuff, like special, specifically more like so deadlines, so that I don't schedule um, trips, day off, appointments or nothing like that close to those days. And that's why they're here. But it's basically um, personal stuff and family stuff with a hint of decoration <laughs> just to make it prettier. Um, the weekends are divided in two and that's why each box for each day is a little larger and bigger compared to other brands so i have here the monthlies from filofax just because when i got the weekly it was a good deal so i got it from amazon so let's just compare the size of the insert so you all you get like a page with calendar personal information uh, like holidays da, 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 and then you have the monthly so you see like how those boxes like the monthly boxes are very tiny from filofax am i in you see like compared to the plotter um so i'm not sure i wanted to try the filofax out just because it's much easier for me to acquire filofax inserts than it is to acquire plotter but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is really small. Should we measure? Let's measure the size. Okay, so I have here this ruler. So it's half of an inch. So half of an inch. And here it's uh, almost, it's point, point, point 0.9. Point nine of an inch almost one inch and then you have so like it's almost half of the size it's too small <laughs> i just feel like it's too small i wanted to give it a try because it's much easier for me to acquire those but it's very small now that i got used to that but still i want to try it out who knows i write really small what if i could do it and what I think it's nice about this one for Filofax is that you have this on the side. Maybe you could put birthdays in here or important things like this. You don't need to put them there, but then you're going to have to be looking at both. So maybe you have to decide and put just one thing here, just birthdays. Like this is like, yeah. And then you leave this for appointments. Maybe that would be one thing. Yeah. So I was thinking I would try those out because those are cheaper easier to get <laughs> for me but i still feel like the plotter is better it's the best monthly that i've seen because you have a lot of space um but i don't 
yeah sometimes i would do three lines who know i will try it out i will try it out just january just for the next experiment but um yeah so anyways this is the monthly i basically decorate and put all the appointments and i like it and then you see here have those tabs those are transparent tabs from sweet freckle designs from hannah okay so after the monthly i have the weekly and my weeklies are from Filofax, and it's the minimal line, which I like. Not because I'm minimal or a minimalist, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Especially when it comes to my hobbies, I'm totally not. But I like that the pages are very light in color. Like this, I could put whatever color that I want in it. Um, so yeah, and it's a uh, week on two page horizontal. And you have here in the bottom this little calendar that I'm using as a tracker because I saw how Jackie at Cold the Crow uses it and I think it's uh, the best way to track stuff because I don't like drawing trackers. So another thing that is nice about the those inserts, you get the, the calendar and you also get in the beginning of each month so there is a kind of a year planning thing big plans which is kind of nice too could be used as a year bucket list oh so now i don't know if i need the other thing that i prepare for my bucket list well you you see later maybe this would be better okay uh we'll talk about it when i get to the end but you have a front page per month and then you kind of uh, have extra notes pages in each month, which is nice. And I was using some of those pages to just write like monthly lists. Well, they change it again because, oh, oh no, it's here because I was looking for this page. They had uh, to do special dates, goals and notes. So I feel like if you want to uh, write down the focus of the month or things like that, this would be like a nice spot to decide what is important in each month like this you don't forget so like special dates could be birthdays uh or medical appointments whatever goals like your goals important to do things like that so i i, I want to use this more this year i didn't use in the other years so yeah all that because i wanted to show this like a monthly prep that they give you and so what I was using was just like the, the page before I would write just things that I need to do in the month. And they will be things related to family or house stuff. Like you see here, I said that I had to check the snow clothes for my son. I had to buy him new jumpers and I said I would go to the Cathlon. Uh, I said I had to check the shoes and donate whatever I'm not using organize the TV wall, schedule the school meeting with the French teacher of my son, buy a Halloween uh, headband for me because <laughs> it's always cold here, so I never managed to use like a proper costume, but I use a headband and my son is not accepting me anymore using unicorn because he said unicorns are not scary, so I have to, I mean, I can use whatever I want to you know, but it's just that he enjoys when I get into the spirit of using scary things and not cute things. So, yes, I wanted to get, like, a, you know, a cheap headband from the dollar, dollar shop. So I went as a bat, like a purple bat. And then I said here, check pocket stuff from Amazon Japan, because I was wondering how much it will be there to get my monthly from Plotter. I said to start training, because I have to have a better cardio. Yes, I am doing that. I'm back to my treadmill. Then work on homework with my son every day. So those were my October goals. I don't think I used it a lot in the first weeks because this is, was when my Hobonichi each weeks was getting a little bit off rails because it was getting too chunky. I wasn't loving writing in there. And then I jumped into my pocket at the middle of October. So this is just basically everything that I was doing. And again, I'm using washi tapes here. I cover the calendar but i think after yeah after i decided to use it as a tracker i went and watched a bunch of videos from jackie and i'm like that's great she actually does that on her passport tn but hey you have it here <laughs> on the passport on the pocket 
know what I'm saying. Yeah, pocket. I get so confused. Passport, pocket. It's all the tiny things, all the tiny um, planners. And basically, you just, you know, it, it doesn't matter if, they, if the n dates are not in the week that you are, but you just write whatever you want to track. And then because you have the week day, you just cross off if you did it. So, yeah. So here we are in November. Again, I have my November list. And then the tracker and the important thing. So this was the week of Halloween. So that's why I use this washi tape. And then, yeah, it just keeps going from that. Here we had a school strike. So I just mark here what the days the school will be closed. And December. This was the December list. And again, the weekly thing. So the things here are basically stuff to do related to the family or the house and if i decide to take this to work with me then i will put some work stuff in here uh so it's basically but i don't have a lot to write on my weekly like this you know the space is more than enough um yeah so this is this week and then the next section is the note section so one thing that i like about rings is that you can just change it completely and you can also remove pages as you use them and they become like too much in volume and you can just add more this was a kind of an issue with the hobonichi weeks um it's like you have a limited number of pages although i number them i know that i have more than enough but then what if you want to organize them what if you want to insert a certain page in a certain moment what if you don't want to carry it around around because there are some journaling or personal information that you do not exactly need it to be with you every day when you're at work or so i mean nobody's gonna flip through my planner but i don't know some thoughts and some informations are precious to you and private that you don't want to have with you all the time so i decided to have notes pages in here and then whenever i feel like they don't need to live in my binder anymore i just remove them so those pages are essentially grid pages that came with um, one of the binders from Falifax. I really love this paper. This paper works really nicely with fountain pen and also with the pen that I'm using here. Um, sorry for the tangent. This is the Uniball one, but actually I have the Muji refuel in here, 0 0.38. And I um, I am um, only using blue black ink if it's in my gel pen or my phantom pen um so it's blue black so i keep a lot of those notes pages in here i try to see how many more i have so those are the cream ones that i have the white ones um i might cut some notes pages from old hobonichi wixes that i have so that i can put them here i don't want to buy specifically specifically new paper because i have that um so yeah so this is how i've been using it and basically it's a it's just notes sometimes it's journaling could be anything to like separate this from the dated inserts i have here again another tn uh, kind of slaughter i this used to be the file like passport size and i cut the bottom I punched it, cut the bottom, and kind of trimmed it a little bit. Oh, one is um, detaching. And I made this into a folio for my sticky notes. So here I just have sticky notes. But this could be used as the main dashboard too because it's very cute. And then I just have um, a little clip here to make it close. But you can put a washi tape or even nothing. But I kind of wanted to make it close. So this is what it is before my notes pages. And I used the um, page marker from Plotter. Just turn it to the bottom to mark my current notes pages. And then the next session I have. This is just a drawing that my husband made. This is our house when we were renovating our kitchen. Uh, he's an architect and interior designer. So I really love. I mean, it's impressive to me how much you can just look at things and draw them in perspective it's so nice so i used it um to separate the next section and just basically to do lists so just the 
it just like project lists of things so i keep the most frequent on top like this when i flip from this this is the one that is the most current one here i was checking what i have to set up this this planner for 2024 i have here the christmas gifts i had here project at work that i was doing with a collaborator i had to provide on all of data information this is done i have here my son's birthday i kept a page for pen test these are all the mujis i kept the page from a um fountain pen test some people ask me about my favorite fountain pens or favorite inks to use in here uh from what i could test most of them were fine like all of them work really well so here you see i have vanishing point platinum preppy pilot kakuno lummy but i have already used my sailors and tweezbees on them so yeah all of it works and i've seen people working and even using this paper for um swatches swatches so yeah so make sure you go check on some videos from Pengus Creative. Um, she has videos on YouTube and also videos on Twitch. And for a moment, I think she was doing a lot of ink swatches in her plotter. So yeah, like all the inks would be fine. But if you ask me about my favorite inks, they will be a bunch of blue inks. <laughs> right now, my favorite ink that is like in my Tweezby, it's um, Sailor Sobuku. It's actually like a blue black. That I use every day on my Hobonichi weeks. It's, I mean, it's an everyday ink. It's not like the most gorgeous ink, I would say. But it's an everyday ink that I like. Uh, so yeah. And then I keep just a couple more empty. To do notes in here. I basically collected a bunch of inserts that I have I had left. From previous binders and previous setups that I didn't use. And they are all here. And I just want to use them. I, at this point, do not want to print a bunch of stuff because i don't have any more patience for that but i end up ended up printing this one from penis planner co which is this fold out yearly fold out undated it's from her yearly bundle but i had like previously bought the bundle that it could use any year and i actually remember this fold out because i saw the video from my friend nora a doctor of plans uh, she has uh recently posted videos about her setups for her planner so make sure to check her i'm gonna put the link to her channel below but basically she was uh, showing how she would use this type of fold outs for some appointments and things like that and i thought that this would be a nice one for year yearly bucket lists and actually when i was just like looking at my old setups because I was using other covers, I actually found that I had used this before in 2022. Uh, it's not, I, I gave up on it and didn't like continue the year using it, but I wrote a couple things. So I'm gonna go through this list and see the things that I thought that were important per month. There are a lot of activities, there are seasonal things that we could do together, also seasonal things that you have to do, like home maintenance and stuff like that. So I want to transfer them here. So this one, I think I, I cut it. No. So this was the part that I wasn't sure if I would keep in this. Or if I would use this part. Because there is, you know, there are these pages on the insert from Filofax. And then this one, I guess I will just write them all in here and see if I need all the space or not. But if not, I will try to fit them in here because here you see there's like columns, so it's really tiny. Here there's a bit more of space, but I kind of like to be in here like this. I have no fold outs. Um, the fold outs are a little annoying. That's why I move them to the back of the planner like this. It doesn't bother me when I'm writing, but we'll see. And then the last thing I have here is mail to send because sometimes it takes me forever. <laughs> and here I have, I have a picture here. So this is the dashboard from Foxyfix that actually was it. Who gave that to me? I think it was Ali from Ali's Corner. I think it was Ali. Thank you, Ali. <laughs> I think it was her. 
and then here i have this pen lube from plotter so when i ordered this cover with yvonne i told her that i wanted to use this from plotter and then she was like okay so let me put that on a note to Shili you and then she can calculate that you you know there is enough space for that and i loved it so this is from plotter that i can use in here and then lastly i have this pocket thingy with washi tapes but i want to make like seasonal cards of washi tapes like this i have them in here uh ready to go and i can use either here on my notes pages or in my weekly pages yeah so here it is so that's my setup for well just this year and the only thing that i'm gonna do differently but i want to show you is that I will remove the months and the weeklies, but I just do the weeklies for now. I'm gonna keep the last week because we're still on it, but remove this and add the new ones. And there was a question where I archived those and I showed, I think on my last video, I actually used the storage binder from Filofax, but there are storage binders from other shops that are from Potter Cheese and what is the name of the other one? Frankly something? You can get it on Amazon. So this one was actually in a good price on Amazon, but then I tried to go back and buy more and it's like the price is terrible. It's really expensive. It's cheaper on Filofax website. So as I said, always compare both before you purchase but basically this is how i keep the ones that i have already used so i have here 2022 like all the inserts that i used basically and and i had a couple of 2023 and we can transfer those too and voila they are archived done and i still think like i have space to put 2024 so I just put like those tabs here, like this, I know which year that is, but I think 2024 will come. Even when I transfer the monthlies, I will have enough space and then you just click and that's it. And you get this little thing here, you can write what you have inside. This is how I've been um, archiving it or, you know, keeping it, however you want to call it. And yeah, really nice system i'm actually very happy with my with my pocket rings but i i, I love my my hobonichis <laughs> okay sorry for the very messy end i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know if you're also using the pocket rings and i will catch you with the next video bye and thanks for watching